हे ऑसम पीपल टूडेज वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट क्विक राइट थ्रू दीज फाइव पेजिस रिगार्डिंग दिस ई एस जी मार्केट सेकेंड चैप्टर आई नीड यू टू बी इन आईज ओपन ईयर्स अलर्ट एंड absolutely zero distraction you won't watch this video again it should be one time thing let's dive into market drivers of esg integration and key driver and challenges for esg integration financial regulation is downstream from policy choices financial supervision is downstream from financial regulation this section highlights the various roles policy maker and regulators and provides some example of sustainable finance regulation across the globe policy makers are responsible to the growing urgency of sustainability topics some issues can be can have a profound impact on first the stability of financial system for example climate change emerging issues such as biodiversity and resource scarcity and second the risk of an individual investor portfolio objective of financial regulations are to first maintaining orderly financial market second safeguarding investment in financial instrument saving pensions and investment vehicle and bring about an orderly expansion of activities of the financial sector financial regulators consider how esg factors might impact the stability of e of financial regulator considers how esg factors might impact the stability of economies and the financial market and how these factors might influence the long term risk return portfolio risk return profile of financial instrument they also encourage and enable the growth of certain esg products such as green bond required disclosures on esg characteristics other regulators can influence the esg characteristics of companies by strengthening matters regarding environment labor communities governance and require further disclosure on those issues regulators generally involve three themes first corporate disclosure second stewardship and third asset owner regarding co corporate disclosure first one guidelines of corporate disclosure typically come from a government or stock exchange or to encourage or require investors companies to disclose information on material esg risk so there are certain reports there are certain disclosure the company needs to inform or notify to this stock exchanges while this does not impose any requirements on investors themselves it improves their ability to consider this risk in the investment decision second stewardship regulation on stewardship governs the interaction between the investors and investing companies and seeks to protect shareholders and beneficiaries as well as the health and stability of the market in most jurisdictions stewardship codes remain voluntary through mandatory regulation has been approved in europe what is stewardship let's see stewardship what it means the job of supervising or taking care of something such as organi organization or property job of supervising or taking care regulation on taking care uh, governs the interaction between investor and investor companies to protect shareholders yeah yeah what what is required so this is about when they are taking money from the investors and now they need to take care of the money asset owner regulation on asset owner typically focus on pension fund requiring them to integrate esg factors and disclose this their process and outcome some regulators such as those in the uk australia singapore are also beginning to consider climate risk for the insurance market and the financial industry more widely exhibit 11 illustrates how policy maker and regulators tie together various sustainability policy objectives with the regulatory interventions the relation between high level sustainability policy targets and toolkit of financial regulators high level policy goals ratified and internationally accepted sustainable goal like sdg like paris agreement perfect second high level policy option like legal like uh, legal restrictions on damaging activities taxes and charges pricing on externalities carbon pricing public investment subsidies for active with positive impact challenging private financial flows to investment with sustainability benefits example to support climate mitigation paris agreement third main goal primary purpose the enable investors to identify assets with sustainability benefit improve the assessment and market wise of sustainability risk financial sector regulation risk management requirements test test capital requirement etc 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 
increase awareness of sustainability risk and communicate supervisory expectations through public statement reports and research sustainability disclosure and accounting standard example of policy and regulatory development across globe in a review conducted by pri on sustainable in finance policy in 2019 97 percent of the new or revised policies were developed after 2000 the continued acceleration has been drived The continued discussion has been driven by the rapid development in Europe with many initiatives being developed under EU action plan on financing sustainable growth and Asia where markets have been significant updates to reporting requirements and corporate governance expectations another significant factors has been periodic revisions of stewardship and corporate governance codes with national authorities introducing or periodically strengthening ESG expectations stewardship is closely linked to shareholder engagement further details can be found on chapter 6 Global Task Force on Climate Related Dis- Financial Disclosures in 2017 the Task Force on Climate Related Financial Disclosure TCFD we will make a separate video on these disclosures let me take a screenshot 1 2 3 4 5 6 aha okay in 2017 TFCD released climate related financial disclosure recommendation to help firm voluntarily disclose information to support capital allocation Since its launch, TCFD recommendation have been made mandatory in various jurisdictions such as New Zealand, Switzerland, Hong Kong, SAR, Japan, Singapore, UK. In the EU, SFDR, Sustainable Financial Disclosure Regulations, which has a broader scope than TCFD, in terms of sustainability topics, effectively made TCFD mandatory in the near future. Wider TCFD implementation in next expected. with all of the g7 countries including backing mandatory reporting meaning that canada and us will now move to mandatory tcfd reporting the tcfd recommendation center on four key areas governance strategy risk management and metrics and target europe eu taxonomy regulation eu taxonomy regulation published on 22nd june 2020 established a framework that states condition for economic activity to be considered in environmentally sustainable these include contributing sustainable substantially to at least one of the six environmental objectives listed in the next paragraph doing no significant harm to any of the environmental objectives and complying with minimum eu specified social and governance safeguard the taxonomy regulation established six environmental objectives first climate change mitigation second climate change adaptation third sustainability so this is taxonomy regulation three uh, six objectives first is climate change mitigation climate change adaptation sustainable use and protection of water and marine resources transition to a circular economy what is circular economy there is a separate video on that in a separate video on the glossary in that glossary i have covered circular economy pollution prevention and control the protection and restoration of biodiversity and ecosystem europe eu sustainable finance disclosure regulation sfdr europe us finance Euro Sustainable Finance Disclosure Regulation (SFDR) published in December 2019 created requirements to promote consideration of environment, environmental and social risks. Then that may affect investment. These disclosures aim to enhance transparency of sustainably invested products to prevent greenwashing. It identified so-called principal adverse impact that have a negative impact on the environmental and social issues stemming from investment decision. China. guidelines for green financial system green asset taxonomy and pboc 2021 25 strategies the public bank people bank of china pboc in collaboration with the six other government agencies issued guidelines establishing the green financial system these guidelines marked a turning point for china's sustainable finance policy previous policy reforms tended to be reactive to financial crisis the new generation of policy recognizes that to be effective reform need to tackle multiple aspects of interconnected and complex capital market in addition in 2021 china launched common ground taxonomy with the eu and in that year pboc public bank of china announces new five year strategy with strong support from origination of green loan bond insurance and derivatives what is special about these green loans and green bonds like these the use of this money is stated in the in the issue of this bond like this are this money should be used for environmental related causes and they don't have, they have no other use next is us 2022 sec proposal i am thinking to cover this in next video 
uh, let's see what is left okay in this video let's cover this key fact and in then the, then after this there will be last video and then this we by this we have covered this chapter then we will and uh, in third or fourth video we are going to cover question bank so that we have more understanding what is important what is less important and this way we are going to complete this chapter and then we will move to next three chapter next three chapters are going to be very interesting first chapter is on e second is, uh, second is on s and third is on g so first is will cover environmental factors second will cover social factors and third will capture uh, cover governance factors at the same time we are we are having a, we have a playlist for glossary section we have a we are already covering esg report of city bank so we can you can refer to that also what is all about that report what are the important areas how banks are reporting regarding this esg domain so this is all this all is going to help us in having a good grasp over this subject let's start with key fact in 1987 a commission put together by the un issued by brundtland report she was prime minister i think of germany also called our common future which introduced the concept of sustainable development and described how it could be achieved the concept of responsible investing dated back to the 17th century one of the first ethical mutual funds that moved to screen based on religious tradition was pioneer fund which was launched in 1928 the modern institut institutionalization of ethical exclusion arguably began at the height of vietnam war in 1971 with the establishment of the pax world fund in the early 2000 un Go global compacts report who care wins encourage financial institution to integrate esg factors into capital market concurrently unep fi produced the so called fresh field report which showed that esg issues are relevant for financial valuation and thus fiduciary duty these two reports form the backbone for the launch of the principle for responsible investment the global sustainable investment alliance is the global sustainable investment alliance most recent report shows sustainable investing assets in the five major markets stood at us 30.7 trillion at the start of 2018 a 34% increase from two year before the proportion of sustainable investing relative to total managed asset grew in almost every region and in canada and australia new zealand responsible investing assets now make up most of the asset total assets under professional management although institutional investors tend to dominate the financial market interest by retail investors in responsible investing has been steadily growing in 2018 the retail portion of total esg assets totaled one quarter most esg assets are allocated to public equities over 50% of the start of 2018 the next largest asset allocation is in fixed income asset owners set the direction of the investment value chain asset owners understanding of how esg factors influence financial return and how their capital invest impact the real economy can significantly drive the amount and quality of esg investing from the investment value chain institutional asset owner establish contract through contracts known as investment mandate with asset managers these are important because they define the expectations around the investment product and at times even aspects about the manager processes and resources more broadly the large majority of assets owner signatories of pri require in their investment mandate that asset manager act in accordance with the asset owner's responsible investment policy and over half of the asset owners also require reporting many actors in the investment value chain have recognized the shortfall of short termism in the investment practice like this is this is same across everywhere like short term approach and long term approach so there are shortfalls of short term approach in investment practice and have sought to increase awareness of the value of long termism and encourage it short termism may leave companies less willing to take on projects such as research and development and that may take multiple years and patient capital to develop 
Furthermore, short-term investment strategies tend to ignore factors that are considered more long-term such as ESG factors. This assertion was confirmed by a review conducted by the UK equity market and a long-term decision making by Professor John Kay for the UK government in 2012. In theory, asset owners with long-term liabilities are well aligned with long-term investing and are due to benefit from it. In practice, they at times help create the problem by rewarding managers and companies for short-term behavior. Insurers are by nature sensitive to certain ESG aspects due to factors impacting insurance products such as frequency and strength of extreme weather event and demographic changes. The adoption of ESG investing by retail investors have been generally slower than that of institutional investors. Surveys have generally found that millennials are interested in ESG investing which may increase ESG asset in real investing in the near future obviously. but. Let, let, let me ignore but asset managers influence the ESG characteristics of the portfolio through selection as well as engaging with investing companies to improve their ESG performances while they react on asset owner interest in ESG issues they can also play a very key role in proposing new products and approaches to consider ESG factors how many points are there there are total 25 points so okay not many ESG offerings by asset managers generally begin with active listed equities but recently evolved to the other asset class, especially fixed income. The offering of indexes and passive funds with ESG integration by asset managers started 20 years after that of active investment. The use of indexes of is nonetheless critical for the investment industry. They are performance benchmark and the basis for passive investment funds such as ETFs. Investment consultants and retail financial advisors are investment professionals who help institutions and individuals respectively set the and meet long-term financial goals. Usually through the proposal of investment funds, they can consider the ESG characteristics of the fund in their screening and short listing of funds for client. Financial regulators consider how ESG factors might impact the stability of economies and the financial market and how these factors might influence the long-term risk return profile on financial instrument they also encourage and enable the growth of certain esg products such as green bond and require disclosure on esg characteristics where to disclose one popular place is stock markets stock market sorry stock exchanges over 95 percent of the new or revised policy were developed after 2000 driven by rapid development in europe and asia as well as the rise of stewardship and corporate governance code with national authorities introducing or periodically strengthening the ESG expectations. Companies and other investors can contribute to the growth of ESG investing by how they manage ESG risk, the impact they have on the environment and the society and the level of disclosure they provide on this matter. Governments have recognized that responsible investment club can play a, very, uh, play a critical role in funding both public infrastructure and the transition to low carbon society. They also recognize that responsible investment can play a role in the transition of pension system whereby citizens rely more heavily on private pension plans. Civil societies and NGOs can help increase awareness of companies on their ESG risk. They can also help with improving disclosures. The outcome of academic research can increase focus on various aspects of ESG factors and investment decision making. Some investment, some investors still question whether considering ESG issues can add value to investment decision making despite wide dissemination of research that demonstrate that ESG integration can help limit volatility and enhance returns. Some investors also still question whether their fiduciary duty allows them to implement ESG investing. Internal evidence on the impact of considering ESG factors and engaging with direct peers can help overcome these barriers. The advice given by investment consultants and retail financial advisors has often not been supportive of products that integrate ESG factors. Investors-led initiatives that engage with these actors have contributed to the situation gradually changing. A lack of understanding on how to implement ESG factors in the various phases of the investment process as well as perceptions around the cost and availability of data and tools can limit the growth of ESG investing. The rise of ESG label fund also increase the risk of greenwashing. Further work by regulators combined with the development of voluntary market standards would make it easier for investors to understand the characteristics of responsible investment and the differences between various types of responsible investment helping build trust in the market. Trust in the market. So that's it. This is all about 
key effects next video will cover the remaining part and then we have question answer and mcqs so thanks for watching this video till then bye bye take care